What's up guys? This is Brian with Western Equipment and in this video we are going to be talking about that one little tool that comes with every John Deere Gator and that is going to be this guy right here. So if you are a new John Deere Gator owner or maybe even any other type of UTV, ATV, this tool is going to be something that you are probably going to see whether it comes with your piece of equipment or if it's suggested for you to buy from the dealership that you bought your UTV or ATV from. And why this is so important important is this is a shock spanner. So this is what you are going to use to adjust the shocks on your machine. Now all of your UTVs or ATVs are going to be equipment that we are using to work with or we're using for leisure. So ride quality is going to be a big deal. So on all of the John Deere XUV models, whether we're talking about the 825M here, the 835s, the 500 series, all of those machines are going to have four independent suspension system on their machines, which means that each wheel is going to have an independent suspension arm on it. Therefore, each one is going to have one shock at each wheel. And these are all going to be adjustable. So if we are in those different situations where we need either a softer ride or a stiffer ride, depending on the application, you want to be able to adjust those and you cannot do that without a tool like this. Therefore, John Deere makes sure to supply this tool with your operator manual when you buy your machine. Now, where you're going to go to use that tool is going to be on the shock behind each wheel. Now, this is gonna be a fairly simple tool to use. It does have this one hooked end that we are going to see at the top of our adjustment ring right here. We can see the notches that are cut into that where this sets into place. And then we're going to use this to turn that adjustment piece to the next notch in the actual collar here below the shock. Now, as we can see, as we turn it to the right, this is going to increase tension because it is moving that spring up whenever we turn this to the right because we are adding depth there to that collar. Now, if we want to loosen this suspension, give a softer ride, we're actually going to turn this to the left to be able to bring that notch down to where the spring has more give where we're letting that pressure off of the spring. Now, keep in mind, just because we have this tool does not mean that we have every single thing that we need to adjust those shocks right there on our place with that machine sitting on the ground. What you're going to wanna do is you are gonna wanna get this machine raised up off the ground. You can start with the front and then move to the rear or vice versa, whichever one works for you. But what you are gonna want to do is get these wheels up and off of the ground, then make the adjustments and make them equal on both sides, then you're gonna to wanna to set that machine down, roll it forward a ways, roll it backward a ways, allow those shocks to make those adjustments and to settle where they are going to be, and then do the same thing there in the back. So just because we have this tool does not mean that we are just 100% ready to make that adjustment, but it's not a hard thing to do. You can use a simple car jack to raise that front up, make that adjustment, do the same thing there at the rear, and then you are good to go. So guys, I hope this video helped you out. I hope maybe I was able to show you something that you weren't sure about or that you didn't know that you needed for your machine. And if you like this video, if this did help you out, we ask that you would hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also guys, if you're needing any John Deere parts at all for your machine, make sure to go check us out at 247parts.com. And as always guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey guys, make sure to check out this cool video and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.